CORS is an acronym for cross-origin resource sharing, and it helps keep the web safe by guarding server resources from requests by unknown origins, like other web apps, unless, of course, they have permission. I can simulate this by issuing a fetch request in the dev console from the google.com domain, and I'm fetching the mdn.com domain. That's crossing origins. And there we have a CORS policy error. This error message can really confuse beginners, though, as it suggests possibly setting the request mode to no CORS, but this setting doesn't turn off cores for the server, it just alters the fetch request. For example, a request in no cores mode doesn't support JSON data as a content type. The server admin has to give you permission by setting their access control allow origin header to either let everyone access the resources or more commonly let an allowed list of domains have access. It's kind of like having a VIP pass for resources and otherwise the cores doorman won't let you pass. There's much more to learn about cores and I suggest starting on the MDN cores page.